I'm Grant. Today is December 26, 2013, and it just so happens that today is my 37th birthday. Four days ago, I was diagnosed with Bell's palsy on the right side of my face. I thought I would try to do something positive with the experience by making a video diary documenting my recovery so that anyone else could get an idea of what they might expect to see in their own improvement as time goes by. So this is the first day of my video diary. I was diagnosed four days ago. Came down very suddenly. I just happened to be out with friends and I noticed that my lip was numb. And then gradually over the course of the day, my eye began to water more, had difficulty controlling my eye, also got a headache and some shoulder pain. And by the next day, my right side of my face was pretty much totally frozen. Since that time, it's actually gotten worse. So I'm now on day four, and it's, this is probably the worst day it's been so far in terms of paralysis. Um, my taste sensation for foods has changed dramatically. I do still have hearing in my right ear, but otherwise I have virtually no control over my facial muscles on the right side of my face. Talking is difficult, eating is difficult. Um, pretty much everything is a lot more difficult now, and I tape my eyes shut to sleep at night. I have gone for Chinese acupuncture, and I'm on Chinese herbs as well as steroids, prescribed by the doctor, and vitamin B complex, vitamin E, vitamin D3. I have already been on a vegetarian diet for six years, so I'm pretty healthy. I'm just doing what I can to keep my health up. So you can either get out or stay at home, but either way your pace is going to stay the same. So why not get out and see the great outdoors and do something? So it's now day 11 of my struggle with Bell's palsy, and I came out for New Year's to Wilson's Promontory National Park in the state of Victoria in Australia. Went on a four-day trek, three nights, four days, and in the past 11 days my Bell's palsy has actually gotten worse, I think. I've gotten acupuncture twice, I've been on Chinese herbs, I've gotten massage from friends and a professional as well, as well as acupressure, but my face feels more paralyzed now than it did at the start of this ordeal. But the reason that I decided to record this video out here is to inspire people to go out and have your own adventures and don't let a condition like this keep you indoors because there's a lot of beauty out there and some of your healing can come from being out in nature and facing people and having conversations and doing whatever you can to stay active and stay motivated.
It's time.